Yeah, welcome to the JQ Show, presenting the JQ News from the JQ News Center. Let's go. Yeah. Nas gracefully releases new album Magic 2 with uh, super producer Hit Boy. And uh, he graces the cover of Billboard 50 Years of Hip Hop and discusses his career. And he wants to see rappers his age come out and do music like he is. Nas has urged his fellow elder statesmen of hip hop to follow his lead when it comes to delivering music at a high level this deep in his career. The Queensbridge rap legend starred on the latest cover of Billboard on Friday, where he dissed an array of topics surrounding his decorated career and the magic he's discovered in recent years by joining forces with tag team producer. Hit boy. I want more people to join me from my era. Release your records and work hard on them shits, he said. I want to hear how people feel. I want to hear their art. I want to hear the trends. I want to hear the art. Express it. Do it and be free. That's what I'm trying to give to the game right now. I don't pay attention to anything except what I'm doing at this point because I'm having too much fun that I don't even look up to see what's going on. I could say that I never had this amount of fun, but I've had a lot of fun in my life in the business, but this feeling is unmatched. It's magic to get together and do what we're doing. I didn't see anybody doing it like Hip Boy continued. Not to sound like I'm feeling myself, but to really look and say, all right, what do I want to do now? I'm going to do what I want to do. The freedom of creating records because I just feel like it is a hobby to me. Now go to work. I don't know how long this feeling to make music is going to last, but I'm going for it at the moment. It's making me have so much fun. It's been quite the winning streak for Nas and Hip Hop DX 2022 Producer of the Year, and it doesn't sound like they're stopping their run anytime soon. The first pair of collaborative ever efforts, King's Disease, was released in August 2020. Bag Nas' first ever Grammy for Best Rap Album. The dynamic duo returned August of 2021 with King's Disease 2 Magic arriving a few months later and King's Disease 3 in 2022. On the open track from Magic 2, Abracadabra, Nas revealed that he and Hip Boy are halfway through recording their next album, though it seems to be seen whether it's another King's Disease or Magic project entirely wow he's overworking shout out nas queens bridge let's go hip-hop is alive all right kanye up to his antics as usual walking around italy with no feet with no shoes Kanye West may be synonymous with sneakers, but it appears the fashion trailblazer has ditched footwear altogether after he was spotted barefoot while out in public. On Thursday, photos surfaced Ye and his wife Bianca Sensory walking the streets of Italy with nothing on their feet. The married couple were, for the most part, otherwise clothed as Chicago rapper rocked a black blazer and magic pants and looked like a homeless. Sensory, meanwhile, barely concealed her curvy figure with a translucent crop top and a long hanging shirt skirt paired with a beige colored headwear the couple's wedding rings could also be seen in the paparazzi sides as they headed to a lunch date so check out Kanye being weird all as usual damn she looks like Kim like crazy without the blonde hair look at his feet with his wedding ring why he look crazy I swear he was cloned man he looked crazy G he look crazy, dude. Anyways. No, Nikes. Nike Air Max 90 just do it officially revealed. Them shit is fuego. They remember the Air Forces they used to have the Nike bubble? Used to love them shits. Take me back to the days that I used to love. The Nike Air Max 90 is a highly popular sneaker celebrated for its enduring appeal. Originally released in 1990, it quickly gained widespread recognition and become a cultural icon. Its design, featuring visible air cushioning in the sole, was revolutionary at the time and set trends for future Air Max models. The Air Max 90's classic silhouette and comfortable fit have made it staple in both athletic and casual wear. Over the years, Nike has released numerous colorways and collaborations. Its timeless design and performance whether for sports or everyday fashion, the Air Max 90 remains a classic favorite. The sneakers feature a white rubber sole with a clean white midsole revealing the Nike Air Bubble Up.
The uppers feature a combination of leather and mesh in an all-white color. Way on the other sides, a small Nike switch can be found featuring iridescent accent. Other iridescent, iridescent details include the heel tab, which features upside-down Nike branding. Finally, both sneakers feature just do-it lace locks, adding a touch of elegance to the sneakers. Sneaker reports that this Nike Air Max Just Do It is releasing at some point in 2023 and the retail price will be $140. Let's check them out. Fire. That's the Just Do It right there in the middle of it. This shit is fire, bro. The upside down shit. Fire. Clean look. Clean look for next summer. And last but not least, Eminem. Takes aim at the game and new Easy Mill song realist. So apparently Eminem has signed the 25 year old mixed a white rapper from uh, Detroit, I think. So yeah. So, Easy Mail dropped a new track recently featuring Eminem the Realist. Eminem took opportunity to diss vari various musicians that have hated on him in the past, including Melly Mel, Lord Jamar, and of course The Game. Took shots at Eminem 2022 with the dramatic Heart vs. Mind. I never heard you in the club. I never heard you in a bar. 11 albums and 10 never got played inside of my car. It's clear that Eminem has come back with a vengeance on his latest feature, responding to the game's this All the envious rappers, I torch him if, if I'm on a joint with them. And that is the only retort is I'm not played in the clubs, motherfucker put a cork in it. Only reason they don't play your shit in the clubs, why? It's because you're still performing in them. Easy Mill just was, uh, recently signed to Shady Records as well as Aftermath and Interscope as a 25-year-old was first signed to all three since 50 Cent did in the 2002. Obviously, a collab with Eminem is huge, especially for a rap and upcoming artist. In press release last month, Eminem revealed why he he had his eye on Easy Mill in the first place. We've never been out there signing a lot of artists, and one of the great things that, about how we built Shady is I've how selective we've been, he explained. And it's even rare that Dre and I signed something together, he continued. But I heard Easy's music and I was like, this is really special. So I took it to Dre. We both agreed it would be a great fit and we wanted to work with him right here on the spot. Dre also wanted to praise the artist saying, M played me easy and I had that feeling. Nice. Good for you, bro. Good for you. Go check out the, the this. It's called The Realist. And that will be it for JQ News. And the internet's back in business, bitch. Go follow me on Instagram.com, Jonathan underscore Quest, SoundCloud.com, JQ Music with a K, and go get my album on Bandcamp.com, the greatest writers of the century. Let's go. Thought I forgot that shit. Never. YouTube champion, JQ.